our daily show on Nifty, Bank Nifty, and UG analysis. Uh, so let's start this by reviewing what we predicted yesterday, what happened today, and then we'll try to get a sense of what will happen tomorrow from the price action today. To do this, we'll review charts, we'll review uh, uh, FI data, DI data. We'll review option chain data and then we'll form an informed opinion on what exactly the market is planning to do. Right. So uh, you know the drill. So let's get started in earnest. Now, the first thing which strikes me when I look at today's market is that today we tested the 100 DMA and here's the important part. There was a channel upward trade sloping channel here. Right. And it took a bullish hammer here, which means there's a support here. And we had said that agar yaha pe bullish hammer form hua, and agar aaj it gives a positive closing above yesterday's closing, then tomorrow it will be a gap. I mean, tomorrow it will be a bullish day, right? And it seems two things have happened. One, there's a support here, 100 DMA, there's a channel here. Then there is a candle here, which is a shooting star, sorry, bullish hammer. Support, 200 DMA, Price rejection at the support, breakout of this triangle, uh, then uh, the confirmation of the bullish uh, hammer and then a close in which we saw absolutely no price rejection from the 200 DMA. So here's the important thing, right? If you look at all these candles which rejected from 200 DMA, they all have rejections. They have wicks, right? You can see this thing. This is called wick. Do dhaga, the, the thin line which is a big which means nobody allowed price to settle there. Today's closing does not have a rejection. It closed on the 200 DMA. So there's a very very high chance that tomorrow we'll see a gap up or tomorrow we'll see like a big open. I mean basically tomorrow is a bullish day right because why? Bullish hammer followed by confirmation a close with no rejection at 100 DMA breakout of this triangle like there are so many things like i mean there are just things and things and things and now it isn't back into this upward sloping channel in fact I, i'm like wondering why am i even you know like this is very clear right upward trending channel ke bottom pe ja ke we found a support and we found a 200 dma and we got a price action candle and we got a confirmation to that and then we did not get any rejection from a resistance. This, if this is not bullish, I don't know what is bullish, right? So expect um, support at channel bottom and 200 DMA and bullish um, hammer confirmed see after everything it could still go negative but as of now it looks like it is positive now let's look at open interest data today everybody oh now i see what's the problem this is coming in too soon okay now one problem is everybody sold puts today right look at this 13 million puts added option chain overall looks neutral the first real resistance it is 17500 but the problem is this right if 17500 breaks then there is nothing after 17500 till 18000 right because all of this look at it there 600 700 they are all empty so 17500 is the first realistic resistance but uske baad there's nothing uh, and i'll be very careful about like yesterday we said right we won't hold any shorts here put writing massive pcr is at one which is bullish and fia data that's actually confusing because they bought calls and puts both i don't know why but definitely three times as many calls index future standard core positive fia fi is neutral when it comes to long term stock buy so these three things are again in place so what is the verdict uh, tomorrow big upside is very possible and the trade is to hold on to whatever longs we took today because we had said this yesterday that in case today's closing is above yesterday's closing then we will be tempted to go long so yesterday's trades were selling puts or put spread so if you have puts or put spreads from today morning absolutely hold them if we have calls, call spreads or futures. Absolutely, you are printing. Looks like. Right. Um, so, this is our read on index. Now, let's look at Bank Nifty, right? Less straightforward. I mean, I'm not as keen on Bank Nifty as I am on Nifty. 
this is a trend line it has held there is a tiny candle because the candle although this looks like a hanging man it, the candle is so tiny that it's not um, it's not a very obvious thing to deduce conclusions from a tiny candle but like we said yesterday the resistances are at 50 100 and 200 dma until they are taken out i won't want to be long bank nifty finally going to usdnr USD, this is overseas so today something has happened uh, dollar has fallen after india market close i think there is some peace talk or something which has happened in russia or i think i'm not sure but anyway let's look at usdnr domestic yeah you can see this right uh, today indian usdnr closed above the 200 ema but there's a high possibility that tomorrow uh, if like going by what has happened in international markets so i wouldn't have been shorting usdnr today because there's a 200 ema here but uh, i would not be shorting usdnr even if it opens gap down tomorrow because there is 150 dmas here so it's not an easy thing to short usdnr anywhere below these levels because there are three moving averages and it's not an easy shot and more importantly if you look at weeklies uh, there is a bullish harami formed somewhere here and as long as that thing stays it's not an easy shot to do it like the reversal signal if it's invalidated and if to this week's close which is tomorrow happens below this level then it could be a shot but it's not a direct straightforward shot anyway because for the harami to be invalidated we need a close below 76 60 76 20 10 odd levels which is here right so net net dollar is a wait and watch tomorrow might be a gap down but it's not a good idea to short into that gap down because of three moving averages uh, nifty looks like it's no time to short i would now be long and see where the market goes so till a reversal signal comes or till a next uh, resistance comes i won't be shorting nifty i'll be long nifty throughout i'll tell you why i'll be long nifty throughout again because it has consolidated for a long time in this area and now it has broken out right once it is broken out aisa nahi hota ki break out hote hi ja ke next resistance pe aake pakad liya wo nahi hota it will move for some time it can go to 17 500 600 700 800 i don't know for all you know it can even go to 18000 right because that is this channel because if you look at this channel the top of this channel is somewhere near 18000 but like, again i'm not saying it will go to 18000 all i'm saying is that let us see how far it can go and we will call it a short when a reversal signal comes but till we see a resistance or till a reversal signal comes this is not a short nifty is absolutely not a short but going by that logic right if nifty is not a short it's highly unlikely that bank nifty is also uh, uh, not a short and bank nifty can have upside till the territory of these three moving averages i'll be cautious at these three moving averages because three moving average ek sath koi index asani se nahi todta it doesn't happen and finally coming to usd inr again very very tricky stuff now dollar because um i mean this is a horizontal level because you can see the previous top you can see multiple tops forming here in the uh, domestic charts you can also see several moving averages here so i'll be cautious about uh, you know uh, trading usd nr at this point because this is a support zone anything below this even this i wouldn't have shot it today because you know 200 dma is very much here so let net our analysis is nifty looks like it has got an upside till we hit a resistance or till we find a price action candle which is negative sahil is saying he is long 17300 and 36300 calls good for you man sgx is up one person one person is nothing manish is saying again time to file bankruptcy for base yaar luckily main nikal diya tha mere june ke options agar rakh leta barbaad ho jata yeah so just reading the user comments so sorry yeah i mean basically everything about nifty right now is uh, 17500 to 17600 zone or more basically till a resistance comes and till we see a negative price action candle like uh, you know shooting star or bearish engulfing or something it is not a market to short and mere ko lagta hai thoda aur upside jayega 
so tomorrow's closing is more important i agree sahil so because this is the last day of the week i'll also analyze what it means if we have a yeah this is interesting right so tomorrow if we have a close wow, one second sorry so look at this right last week this was the candle then we have a pausing candle but tomorrow if the close is above last week's close then we can see continued bullishness in nifty basically weekly candles are also pointing towards bullishness because if this was a breather pauser candle and if yesterday's i mean this week's close is above this we can see continued action in nifty uh, and finally looking at the monthly candle this is also month and close which is super important this is uh, tricky because see on the one hand you can say that uh, this is a bullish piercing candle on the other hand you also have to be cognizant of the fact that yaha pe ek bullish angle bearish engulfing hai so now the battle is essentially between this bearish engulfing cut top which is somewhere around 17500 7600 and if this candle now closes tomorrow above 17550 levels and in then this bearish engulfing candle is invalidated then there will be continued upside in nifty it can go you know quite a bit maybe 17 18000 also this not very difficult because why this is a doji this is a bearish engulfing this is a bullish piercing so far tomorrow last day of the month if it closes above 17500 um sorry tomorrow last day of the month i mean to say almost near the last day of the month uh, uh we could say that if this momentum continues and 31st thursday if it closes above then we can have a bullish engulfing and continued bearishness the same applies for weekly weekly is already forming a close above this so if it continues then the top of this is taken out and this week closes positive which means next week will have continued uptrend so basically long story short uh, nifty is uh, up and let's not short nifty at this point uh, oh somebody is saying tonight is important because oh the treaty is not done is it acha okay i thought the uh, treaty is done yeah pranav you are right we still feel will come back to the bigger wider channel and see 15000 16000 in the short in a few weeks but of course we can't predict we can only react here so yeah that's true so anyway that's our analysis for today uh, thanks so much guys for joining we'll see you again tomorrow as usual uh, please don't trade because somebody in youtube who might or might not know what he is asking talking about is asking you to trade the most important thing is that we trade with data we trade objectively we trade with bet sizing which is very important and most 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 important we trade in a way that keeps our capital safe so thanks again guys for joining please have a great profitable trading day tomorrow and have a brilliant expiry this week uh, so till we meet again good night and take care bye